Oh, buying them would be much easier. Hey, you won't open. You need a bomb. Seems we've been shut in. Oh, good. I love when that happens. What the hell? Why? Ah, oh, God! Why in the hell are there boxes we can move around? They just like hanging out here? Is that their cross to bear? Also check every wooden crate just in case. Well. Ah, son of... Well, alright. Sure he had nothing important. Poor camera. It cannot figure out what to do. Amber? I think I need that, actually, for something. Rings a bell. Don't know why, though. Would you just hit the fucker? Thank you. Jesus. Well, I fell to my death again. Oh, all the way. Better be something good at the end of this. You don't count, whatever you are. Unless it was machine oil. That would count. Was it? God damn it. Oh, oh, hey. I can jump out of that. Note to self. Simply jumping out of the hole works wonders. Oh my god. No business surviving that. Thank goodness old Mr. Near is a double jumper, eh? Okay, where the hell are we now? A door that needs some bombage. Ah. Seems like there might be something worthwhile in this room. Yeah, yeah, shut in. Rudd. Excellent. Ah! Further excellence. Yeesh. Death. Really is a shame that we need memory alloy, but he's not letting us. Uh, the game kind of forces you, if memory serves, to upgrade the freaking. Uh, eh, what do you call it? Uh, the sword he gave us. It's like a forced upgrade. And it does cost a memory alloy, which is really a bitch. This memory alloy is crazy rare, and I'd rather save it for the side mission we're doing. I should also probably heal. Shit's important. Battery, cable, cable. Give me machine oil, damn you. Broken motor. Do I have to kill them with magic? I think that might be a stipulation. I can't remember. Broken battery. Well, it doesn't matter now. Oh, shit! You! You seem familiar. Oh, God. Ah, oh, fuck! Sideswipe me. Though my spear just rips through him. Ah! Okay, nope to self. Yep. Kill him! Whew! God, to heal! Oh dear. So glad I healed. Didn't know he would have a leftover effect. 
Go to the brother's store at the junk heap. Now well, we have our memory alloy. Time to ski daddle. We gotta daddle them skis. Oh wait, I bet he dropped a bomb. No? Ah, but uh, here he is. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb! There we go. What lies yonder? Oh god! Hmm. Ow. Oh. Bomb. Anyone? There we go. Don't you shut that door! Ow. Oh. Didn't even break the fucker. Alright. No, don't shut the friggin' door! Damn you! I need like a beeline to this bad boy. Okay. I hate you. You and Emil. No! This is so unfair. Emil and Kaine keep getting in my way. While I'm trying to just freaking. Yes! Kind of. <laughs> I'll take it. It's a victory. Victory is a victory, right? Which way do I go to get out of here? Uh, back down this way. Since we actually have the memory alloy, I'm not going to progress further because the brother actually gives us a mission to progress further as soon as we're done here. So we'll come back to this area. Not this specific area, but we'll come back for the minecart section, eh? We'll do that in a quick second, but, uh... Probably... Wait a bit on that for, like, the next sit-down. Since I'm close to five videos... Ah! Suddenly my back got really itchy. Close to five videos at this point. I usually like to record in sets of five. No, sorry, four videos. They're 20 minutes long, because they're only four videos. Uh, the point is I like to record for about an hour and a half. So, on console games and other games that are only 20 minutes of footage, that's like 20 minutes. So, eh, four parts. Sometimes five, if uh, I'm feeling fresh, but uh, mostly four. That is, unfortunately, only like three parts for the Pokemon hacks. Which, since I've started updating those to two a day instead of just one a day, uh, I need to make more and more of those. Rat tail! Give me that rat tail. Never know. Might need it. It's a mouse tail, I don't care. Alright, let me check the grimoire here. What do we have? Four batteries, one lens, and one switch. Not what I wanted. Nope. Nope. No. No. Nine dented boards and six stripped bolts. It's still no logs. Three broken motors and one titanium alloy and one memory alloy. We're gonna get more of those anyways. Uh, damage map. Still no machine oil. Yeah, I didn't think so. Damn it. Damn it, hold. Now give us your mission. Your follow up mission to this damn thing. That's some pretty impressive stuff I found. I'll start upgrading your weaponry. Won't charge for it either since you helped me out. Don't know how we did, but hey, whatever. Actually, this is going to take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's right. That'd be great. Really? Nothing else? Huh. Let's take to upgrade my spear. I can upgrade Moonrise, yeah. Uh, where's the Phoenix spear? That's the dagger. Phoenix spear. There we go. We need giant eggs and gold ore. I don't know where you get either of those. I think the gold ore you actually find uh, in the junkyard. Let me pull up some new information. Well, if I'd known that, I would have done this sooner. I thought once... Uh, actually, I knew about the sword thing, but I thought his attitude was, while you were waiting, uh, there's another favor in the junk heap you could do for me. 
And you're like, oh, what is it? And you'd be like, ah, I kill more robots. And you'd be like, yeah, sure. And you'd be like, sweet! So in case you didn't catch it in the cutscene, he blames robots for his brother's death, even though it was his own fault. Which, I guess that's healthier. Blaming the, you know, soulless machines that already kind of plague your place of business and make it dangerous for you to work uh, for the death of your brother. So that you're not faced with the cold, harsh reality that it was yourself who did that. That might, uh... That might just, uh, help you get through the day and sleep at night. That guy's been alone for four years in this stupid junk heap, man. Like, four years. I mean, I go to sleep at night by myself and all that, but I at least have people to talk to, man. We didn't even visit. We thought there was, his brother was still alive. God's sakes, man. How cruel is that? Is it cloudy enough for the... Hey, it is cloudy enough. Sorry, Piggly. I've never seen a shave that large around here. That's the dude from the Airy. Careful, it's a formidable foe. Do I have the fist? I do have the fist of justice. Also, oh shit, I was gonna say it's not a formidable foe, but he has different attacks. Oh no, he doesn't, he's got jackasses behind him. Fix that, won't we? At least this gave me something to do. Didn't want to end the video early or anything. Did you drop a machine oil? He won't. Oh, but he dropped a health cell. That's great. Kine, covered in blood. Always a pleasure. Spear! Spear is not very good. Charge attack? Oh god, charge attack failed me. Oh god, the fist of justice failed me. Fist of Justice never fails. See? Fist of Justice. Oh god, it failed me! This is all wrong. Oh, and I'm out of health solves. This is the worst day ever. Just gotta remember my training. Oh god, I do so little damage to him. Please start breaking off pieces of his armor. Oh god. I only have six of these left. Now I only have four of these left. I don't know how that didn't hit me. It seems all his buddies are dead. That should make this significantly easier. Oh, Kaine's dead. Oh, for God's sakes, Kaine. And Pigsley's just sitting there, not helping at all. Like a fucking douche. It might make more sense I have to save up the magic so I could charge up an attack, but... While that does do more damage, it's also slower to charge the attack. Don't you know. Oh god. Oh hey. Dodge roll worked in my favor. I also need to try a charge attack. Do your thing. Give us a swing and a miss. Hit him! That didn't break his shit. Actually, it seems like it did some decent damage to him. Wait a minute, don't I have... Hold a second. I have word editing. Uh, where's the Phoenix Spear? That's the only one worth editing, since it's the only fucking weapon I'm gonna use. Let's see. Uh, attack power, 20%'s very good. Guard break's not bad. Ooh, armor break's also very good. I think I'll take plus 20 attack power, to be perfectly honest. And, uh... I think I'll... Ooh, EXP rate. That might be good for the leveling up. I will go EXP rate. Ooh, but item drop. Maybe I'll up it to item drop in a bit when I'm back uh, on the trail of fighting martial arts. Oh, defense and evade. Uh, magic. Where's my dark hand? Uh, magic power. Ooh, I have 10 magic power now. Go any higher than that? Look, does good armor breaking. Up to 20 once again. Kind of wish I could set it for this, but this doesn't have armor break. XP rate's good. Ooh, it'll have item drop. Yeah, give me item drop. Oh, if I kill someone with the fist. Ow, I get it. Jesus. Get a good item drop. 
Yo. Let's see what this plus 20 pack tower does. Let's also see if I can speak correctly. That's not good. I need to be significantly more careful. I'll even take a fucking strength capsule. Damn, that does some good work, actually. Why were you easier to fight in the fucking airy, man? Be more careful, be more careful! Okay, I don't have any healing. Okay, he's back. Honestly, I think the spear is doing better. At least with the strength drop, anyways. Yeah, spear does way better with the strength drop. The problem was he doesn't lose any armor right now. In the area, he lost armor and shit. Here, he hasn't lost a bit of it. One more hit should do it. Oh god, no! One more hit should do it for both of us, really. There we go. Obtain the word... Ah, physical defense. the one-handed sword. Nice! Trash getting in our way. And an elaborate machine. Shade being here. It's almost like it was waiting for us. It can't be that intelligent. Oh, really now? Can you truly say so with all confidence? The tactics of the shades grow more intricate with each passing year. And it would not surprise me to see them setting elaborate traps for us before long. We'd better wipe them out before they get too smart. If we take out the Shadow Lord, we take out the Shades. That's all there is to it. One track mine, that near. But, you know, still, I'm glad I got a nice weapon out of that deal. And I'm even managed to. Why is the gate shut? Anyways, uh, yeah, so got a nice, uh, nice weapon out of the deal. Speak to Popola about new things, turn in this mission. Oh, this guy's got something he wants. What's up with you? Killed it. Oh, when I was dead, she passed while you were gone. Here, take this money, I won't be needing it anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. Fucking why'd the daughter have to die, huh, game? Oh, right, because you're as depressing as shit. Remember that, everyone? Nah, my daughter was playing. She was attacked by a shade. Well, she is dead now. Here's $30,000 because I was saving it to cure her or, you know, educate her or something. She doesn't need it anymore. Bit of a bitch, that. It's like, jeez, game. Give us a break, man. We kind of got a break with the poison kid. And it's like, oh, maybe the game won't kill kids. Ah, fuck it. Game killed the kid. Fuck you. Also, I believe this room's been updated. Uh, yes. Now, what's this middle shelf? The statue of a boy. Publis certainly has some eccentric tastes. I think that refers to the Tree of Myth. What on earth? It's the massive shade we saw in the area. I don't even want to know. I think we saw both of these. Both of these. Uh, well, that's the other one, really. You know, the top shelf, I guess. We saw this in the wash line. What's it doing here? I've long ceased trying to puzzle out this room. That's a good point. Genuinely, I don't think there is a story reason for it. It's just kind of like a memento room for all the bosses you fought. There's also achievements if you can kill the bosses quick enough. Fuck that. Especially since you'd have to start a new game to fight some of the bosses. Have anything new about the Shadow Lord's Key? No, sorry, this is really hard. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. I'll keep trying. Kind of my last hope. Do what I can. Oh, by the way. Oh, and by the way. <laughs> so I can buy a house here. I noticed you had some mail. Might want to check it out. Oh, thanks. Uh, mail at the house? Sure, I'll go check it out. Probably end the recording after I check out the mail so I can save and buy some healing items. I wish Dad would send me letters like every day like I do, but I know he's busy, so every other day is okay. Aww.
poor daughter. She just wants to spend time, well, wanted to spend time with her dad. Like, you didn't have to run across the world searching for your cure. She, it's, hey, shame to say this, but she probably could have died happy if you were just there with her and made her life good. Didn't need you running around for the cure. That would have been sadness. Anyways, <clears throat> as per rule 25,656, please consider this your official notice that the King of Sod has chosen to enter in the ceremony of matrimony. Please lodge all objections and or congratulations through the official channel stated in rule 38,585. Sincerely, the Facade Royal Mat Office of Marriage and other legally binding contracts and concerns. The from Olbk. P.S. Hey guys, it's me, the Kid Facade. Sorry for all the formal stuff. Listen, I'm getting married and I really want you to come, so get over here. The king's getting married. Ah, it does this old book good to see a boy become a man. It would be rude to miss the king's wedding. We haven't been facade in so long, we should pay them a visit. You know what that is? That's what we needed, you know? A nice marriage. The king's getting married. That's... that'll be nice. Not even... no sarcasm in the voice this time, you know? It's, it's been a bit of a downer, what with wiping Aerie off the face of the earth and, uh... You know, the junkyard brother dying, but, uh... You know, I think, I think a nice marriage will, uh... Do our old hearts some good, eh? You know, really cheer us up. Get us out of the slump and the sadness we're in, so... That's great, and who knows, maybe he's heard something about this shadow thing, the keys or whatever, so when we come back next time, guess we're gonna go see the old prince get hitched. Well, until then, thank you so much for watching, I've been Token Lad, talk to you later, shrewd negotiators, and see you around, ass clowns.